I'm the owner and founder of Sparklefly Candle Company. I make home fragrance items for people that are on the go like me and that want to find the little moments of joy in every day. My mother and I, when we would go on trips, we would always have to pick out just the right candle from where we went to give us a memory of that trip. And so my mom really passed down that memory, that feeling of needing to have candles in my home. Um, I dreamt that I wanted to be Madonna. Um, I wanted to own my own company. I wanted to be a psychologist. I uh, wanted to help people, I wanted to be a fashion designer, you know, all those big dreams that you have when you're a little girl. I actually had a dream that I had a candle business, um, but it wasn't until years later that I actually made it come true. But it really wasn't until my daughter begged me to go for it and she was just fluttering around me and that's where the name Sparklefly came from because she was just such an inspiration in, in me at the time. She was this little girl and I looked at her and I was like, if I don't live my dream, how can I expect her to live hers? My favorite subject was math, believe it or not. Um, I just, everything that I did was math. Every thought I had in my head, when I colored it was mathematical, when I played it was mathematical, when I um, timed things out constantly. So I just love math. It's get the kids ready for school, rush, 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 lunches, breakfast, combing their hair, getting them dressed. Um, in between it all, I'm on Instagram, I'm posting on Facebook, I'm reading emails, and then once they're on the bus, it's all about work. So I try to cram in as much as I can while they're at school. Um, and that can be planning, customer interaction, filling orders, shipping, um, masterminding with other entrepreneurs. Uh, it's really, it varies from day to day. I try to keep the schedule, but it's kind of difficult to do that when you're a one woman show. So it's really just whatever ball is about to drop is the one I catch. Um, what I love the most about what I do is choice. If I have um, a big project that has to get done or I am totally obligated to my customers and I must meet a deadline, I have the choice still of whether I want to take two hours that day and play with my children and stay up all night and do my work um, or if I'm going to incorporate them into helping me and making it a fun um, project for everybody. Where I didn't have that choice when I was working in the corporate world. The hardest thing, um, oh, there's so many hard things. This is not for the meek. <laughs> um, I would say that the hardest thing is that every teeny tiny decision is mine. And every humongous choice is mine. So whatever this becomes or doesn't become falls on me. I would tell them that it's going to be hard work. So surround yourself with positive people, people that uplift you, that believe in you, and that will not make you fall. Um, I would also say to have faith and believe in yourself, because if you don't, you're not going to make it. Um, I would tell them to play as much as they can right now and discover the world around them and who they are and bring that with them as they become an adult. Uh, and don't rush, just be young. Yeah, you know, the 
that they believe in themselves, that they understand how beautiful they are and how strong they are and how much that they have inside of them um, and never to be afraid to, to show other people. My dream for where I want to go with this is uh, first to have a company that I feel good about, that I'm proud of, um, that my family can be proud of and can sustain us. Uh, beyond that, a company that brings joy to other women like me, um, a place for them to, to come together and talk about their lives and, and their challenges and find hope in each other and support um, and you know, just grow with that. That's all I can wish, wish for right now. Um, and that's what it's all about, just dreaming. <laughs>